Hello, welcome back. My name is Topher and this is my journey of playing RS3 for the first time in over a decade. Oh, I'm also doing this on my first ever Iron Man account, so let the adventure continue. Hello, welcome back to my return to RS3 with my first ever Iron Man. Um, so last episode we did some quest scene and that was pretty much it. Um, we got to Lumbridge, got to explore a little bit. So I'm thinking for this episode, I am going to do some skilling before I go back to knocking out some quests. Um, in between episodes, I did get 10 combat in every single skill. So 10 attack, strength, defense, range, and magic. Um, so I think this episode, to start off, I'm going to work on just some of the primary skills. So getting some fishing levels, wood cutting, fire making, and then most likely probably go and continue doing some quests. Um, I know this episode I might also try to explore and see kind of what new mini games um, or activities there are to do that maybe I haven't experienced since the last time I played. Um, so after some skilling, I will be back. All right, so while I was mining, I got a bunch of these um, lapis gems. I actually went and did some wood cutting too and made the little necklace that you can make. I actually have no fucking clue what it does, um, but I'm getting a lot of them, and at high ox for 300, I can probably sell it in a store, maybe even make it into a necklace, um, so yeah, I have no clue what it does, but at least it's extra XP, and it will make me some money, um, I've also gotten some geodes, and gotten some spirit shards, and some topazes, but I'm going to keep mining, um, and smithing and hopefully probably get up to about level 20. All right, while I was working on smithing, um, I got invited to a clan and because I saw some dude's wings, I think he's under there somewhere, but uh, yeah, saw some dude with wings, told him they were sick. And now I have a sick little clan cloak and a little flag. Um, so really sick. The cosmetics in this game are really sick. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so yeah. Continue on the skill grind. Just had to plug that I'm already in a clan. Oh, and there's a guy with his fucking wings. And a fire sword. Sick as hell cosmetics. Alright, got up to 10 smithing and along the way got up to 16 mining. I think that's all the mining and smithing I can do. Um, I do like the changes they've made to it. I mean, it's a little bit more interactive, I feel. Especially with mining, how your guy gets like fatigued and can't mine anymore. But I mean, damn, mining is still just as boring as it is in RS or an OSRS. Just not an exciting skill, not a skill that I love. Um, but yeah, just going to continue on doing some skills. And I've kind of figured out the daily challenges. I know I have some today. So actually, I can check and see what those are. So daily woodcutting, daily farming, and daily runecrafting. Um, so I might do those and take you all along for the ride. Missed the pop-up, but that is 20 woodcutting. I am currently working on getting 10 fletching right now so I can upgrade my bow. All right, and that is 10 fletching, exactly what I was looking for. And on the last bow, so now I can go and make a oak short bow, and then I have an upgrade for my ranging gear. And RuneScape hits me with the heartbreak that <laughs> fletching an oak short bow is 20 fletching. Um. So yeah, I'm not getting that. I just had to chop so many trees just to get 10 fletching. I'm not doing that right now. So I think the next adventure will be probably fishing and cooking. And that's 10 fishing. All right, just got 20 cooking. And then the next thing is to get a couple more fishing levels. And then I will move on to fly fishing in Barbarian Village. And there we are, 20 fishing. So now it's time to move over to Bar Barbarian Village and do some fly fishing. And that is a daily challenge completed, a daily farming challenge. So don't know exactly what I get for these. So one weekly progress and then some farming XP. Um, I have heard that the XP you get is pretty good. Yeah, so I just got two farming levels just from completing that. Um, so yeah, I might actually go and do the rune crafting challenge too and just bust out all the weekly rewards or daily. Daily. And that is the rune crafting daily challenge completed. Okay, and that just gave me a tier six weekly reward just so I will open that. Okay, so it's like a sick little battle pass. <laughs> 
Um, I have no ch clue what this stuff is, um, but I'll collect it, and I got a challenge token. I have no clue what it does. Um, if I examine it... Oh, okay. So it basically lets me skip a challenge if I don't want to do it. Okay, that's kind of cool. The more you know. Alright, and that is the Stronghold of Security done. I didn't know that was still a thing, so I decided to go by and check, and it was. So that's a free 10k, just like every other Iron Man series, always have to go and collect that free 10k coins. I did notice, though, on my way down here that um, none of the NPCs or the none of the monsters attack you when you walk down here, so it's a lot safer, and you don't have to answer those stupid-ass questions at every gate. So, nice changes again. <laughs> Yo, so I found this uh, evil tree that I'm chopping. I have no clue what I get from this. I'm assuming it's like a, you know, one of the random events like there used to be. Um, but I thought, you know, why not chop this evil tree? I mean, at least I'll be getting woodcutting XP. I have no clue what else it does. Though. All right, so I sat here and <laughs> um, chopped this evil tree for about 10 minutes and all I got was two logs one acorn, and I got one level in fire making. So, yep. So that's all I got from that. Uh, that's okay, though. It was cool to see, I guess. I did not know that was a thing. I think random events like these, and I've seen other ones like pop up in the chat, like goblin raids. I think that's really cool. I haven't been to one yet, but maybe the next one that pops up, I'll hop over there and do it. Yo, this random mugger came up to me and tried to mug me. Is this... A random event? This dude is about to get his ass whooped for rolling up on me like that. <laughs> I will say, these random events in RS3... I mean, obviously OSRS has random events, but these ones... I've enjoyed these, like the mugger walking up to you at like Evil Tree being like a group event. Um, I'm assuming the same with like the Goblin adventure. I think that's really a cool feature to like bring more people into like these random events and not have it be... Such a huge focus on, like, doing the most efficient thing all the time. Um, so far, I'm having a really fun time just kind of exploring what is new and what is old in this game. I can't lie. All right, so I kept getting this little chat for the necromancy quest when I teleported to Draenor. So I think I am going to go ahead and learn how this skill works. Um, do I need anything? Okay. So yeah, this just gives me access to level 3 trolls. I will grab some magic armor range and be right back. Okay, I am back with some armor and some food just in case. I don't know what to expect, but I will accept and start the necromancy quest. Oh! That thing just one-tapped me. Okay, so this is like Death's Domain, kind of like in RuneScape. There's a bank chest. I think this is kind of like OSRS, but I don't know for sure. But this could also just be part of a quest. I have to say, they have really outdone themselves with the cutscenes they've added. Um, obviously, my baseline is OSRS, so they can't do as much with the cutscenes, just with, you know, keeping it within the nature of what old school is supposed to be. But I mean, these cutscenes are really cool and really well done. The voice acting's done. The graphics are really cool and just really well drawn and animated. Um, and it fits really good within the game. It just makes you excited to try new content for things like this. I will say, I am glad that RS3 hasn't deviated from the fact that the playable character has an IQ of a fucking box of rocks. Like... In OSRS and a lot of older quests, like the dialogue, is just so hilarious if you actually read it through because our dude is literally just a absolutely absurdly strong psychopath that is an absolute moron. And I love that because it just adds a little bit of humor into these like very serious lore deep quests. And your dude's just like, yeah, can we talk to them nicely? I think that will work. He's just such a fucking idiot, and I love it. And I love it probably because it reminds me of myself, because sometimes I'm a fucking idiot. Yo, it's Ted. Don't know who he is, but he looks like a chill-ass dude.
Uh, I don't like that he's calling me bud. Alright, bud. <laughs> oh, you're getting called Ted. That's your name. Just like my dude said, Ted it is. Alright, let's continue on with this. Okay, and that's the necromancy quest completed, I think. Um, so yeah, my necromancy adventure has begun. Form rituals, defeat monsters in combat, learn new abilities, upgrade your equipment, and complete quests. Tell the story of the first necromancer. Okay, so I'm assuming, okay, soul supplies ran by loop in the city of Um's general store head over there. Yep. Okay, so then there's even different prayers for it. So there's a separate, like, prayer book, too. Fighting some trolls. So an XP area where you can level up. More souls. Okay, so that is officially the completion of the quest. Um, I'll say, I haven't really heard much about this skill. I know they, they released it. But it looks really sick, so I'm excited to try it. So I think I might grind that a little bit and just see what I get from it. Seems like a really cool skill and a really cool addition. Okay, so this necromancy skill, really sick. Um, how you train it, I think, is really sick. Using the bones and like actually doing a ritual, I think, is a really cool concept and it's really well done. I know it's a member skill, though, so I don't know how much I can actually like train this in. And that's level 10. Necromancy. Um, I don't know how much I can train it since I'm still free to play. So I will just have to kind of see how that goes. But yeah, I mean, so far it's a really cool concept. I think the skill itself is really unique and really brings a lot to Brutenscape. All right, and that is combat level 20 as I'm working on a little bit of uh, necromancy training. I'm just planning on trying to get this up to level 20 or until I can get the next talent point, which is 2,000 XP. Um, so I'm assuming by the time I get up to 2,000 XP, I'll probably be around level 20 or maybe more. But this skill is really cool, so I'm just going to sit here a little bit and explore this and kind of see what what it all entails. Um, again, I can't say it enough. A really cool addition to the game. I don't know much more about it other than what the quest told me. But it seems really cool. It seems to fit right in with the other combat styles. All right, that is level 20 necromancy. And right when I turned the recording back on, I did get a pop-up to become a member. Um, so I'm assuming that 20 might be like the highest level I can get. Or maybe I can't unlock any more talents. But I did get a talent point. So let's go up to the well of souls yep that's what it is and see if we can do a new talent or if we have to become a member okay so we are back at the well of souls about to see if we can unlock another talent or if it's locked behind membership what's that ted oh you have something to tell people okay well what is it everyone subscribe to topher rs on youtube ted, that's that's really sweet but you can't do that people will feel forced or pressured to do it you can't you can't do that here we're on YouTube. You can't do that. You know what? I can't stand this Ted. I know you are dead, but you cannot say things like that. I I can't fuck. I can't believe you, Ted. All right. We are getting back to the actual point at hand here. And we are going to do the Well of Souls and see if we have to pay money to unlock more of this skill. Yes, we do, I think. Yes, I do not meet the requirements. The requirement is probably me spending money and buying a membership. Okay, sweet. Well, <clears throat> I think that is it for today's episode. I know I got distracted, did not do any other quests, um, but the skills are looking better. I got some defense from doing necromancy, 10 combat, um, 20 necromancy, some wood cutting, cooking, fishing, things like that. Um, so I think in the next episode, just going to continue on doing some skilling and probably bust out some more quests. Um, but I hope everyone has enjoyed the episode, even with all the distractions. Um, I'm having a really fun time with this game. So if it continues up, I will probably buy a membership and explore the wide array of content that's probably available to me in membership. But I'm having a great time so far, so it's definitely rejuvenated some love that I have for uh, RuneScape in general, but specifically RS3. But yeah, I hope everybody's enjoyed the video, and you all have an amazing day. Bye!